from. Yeah, up tilt. Up tilt I, I couldn't up tilt when game. I was a kid. I didn't know it was a move. Because I would always up smash or jump. Freaking noob. I mean, that's what I would say if I was a kid, honestly. All right. So now we have Booty versus Dill. I believe Booty has taken sets from Dill, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's Meta Knight. Like, if you fight Meta Knight enough, you're going to lose a set eventually. The character just has so much burst potential, and he punches singular mistakes just so well that, uh, yeah. We could possibly see an upset today, and then we'll have Meta Knight versus Meek Gunner in winner's yeah. finals? Like I said, the winner of this will go on to fight Protom, which is weird as heck. Very wacky you know we got going on here, but here we got Dash Attack. A very good combo starter for Meta Knight again. Ooh. Okay, that was that was very interesting right there, because Booty went for the forward smash because I covered normal getup and rolls to the left. So that's why Dill went for the getup attack, because he knew that he was going to try to go for something like that. Very smart Actually, play from Dill. It was also, Meta Knight does a little bit of wind back, and if he had spaced himself just a little bit more, it probably could have covered all three of those options. Uh, possibly all four, maybe? Because then that's just weird hitbox on it. He was in the heat of the moment. I mean, it's at 91%, although, because Dill is just... Racking up damage bit by bit. See, the thing is that Meta Knight, of course, he wants that dash attack. He loves that dash attack. But when Dill has Banana, he has to just respect it, which means he doesn't have the same ground game that we normally do, and that up smash is going to take it. Only 29% on Dill. He's looking like he's in a comfortable position. There we go. Dill again, you know, getting that off of a Z-drop banana peel. He'll get some big damage. Monkey flips right into his face, just to rack up some damage. Man, the damage being punished that up it is. He hasn't landed a single hit since this new stock. That was the first one, and it was only 2% from one bit of back air. Yeah, Dill is dominating this game currently. He's like, I want to win this, you know. And it looks like he is on that path, or at the very least, he is making it to winner's finals. Because look at that, only 38% the entire game. Booty's got to shake that off. Just like he's got to shake that booty, moving on to this next game. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you think he's going to pick? I think. Sorry. So, town, I would guess Town and City is banned. Yep, it's right there. Oh, Lilac. I don't feel okay. good about that anymore. Now, why do you think Lilac? Maybe the That's tilting can help him avoid banana in some situations? Nah, he just wants the platforms, honestly. Yeah. And it also gives him, like, a. Like I said, it, it also gives him the ability to be able to, you know, jump off the platforms, gives him some, like, a little bit of arches so he can miss the peel, like you said. So, yeah. We go monkey flip into the up tilt. I mean, it's oh. racking up the damage. Neutral air, very rare move you see it come out from Dill, but he's able to confirm off of it every single time well, he lands it. Really, it was smart because of the fact that he knows that Meta Knight wants to dash attack his landings. And so the way he positioned that neutral air would actually beat it out before it could come out. And all of this damage is pretty much the result of that. 91%. This is looking similar to game one. Just a brutal showing. Ooh. You're waiting for him to land. All right, that's a hit. And keep in mind, this is Meta Knight. If one of the percents are red, either could be dead. Remember that Dr. Seuss book? He just runs up, gets the grab. I believe it was called Oh, the Places You'll Go, colon, the Blast Zone. Nice. Okay, Dill's doing a fantastic... Horton hears a hoo-ha, sorry. <laughs> I, I deeply... I'm moving <laughs> off this topic, dog. <laughs> like, we're going in. Lilac Cruise. Here we go. 142% Dill, one down tilt away from sending Bodia into the Blast Zone. Exploding for everyone. He is moving, but then you know, now you notice that this is another reason why Booty wanted the stage is because it allows him to camp the platforms to get away from the banana peel. It's yeah, but by it. he might be camping, but it wasn't giving him any damage, no openings, and that means that 31% on Dill. All right, so he's already doing better than game one. I do want to comment that Dill exploded on himself for no reason. Right there, just to add on damage for. Wait, does he take damage when he explodes on himself? It depends on how he lands. Like right there, he did. It was only like five, but it was Maybe. very, it was very unnecessary and completely preventable. Maybe he's specifically trying to get out of the range where Meta Knight's combos will come. No, he was dead. 
What? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. when he respawns, maybe I'm just going to no, pretend I, that's I, what it was. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to... Yeah. There you go. Genius. <laughs> there you go. He did damage himself by 5% for no reason. Now my man sitting at 80%. Waits for the forward smash before going back in. Honestly, Dill in disadvantage has been doing a fantastic job. Always be picking the right option. Up tilt? Oh, Ooh. he's going high. Or oh, speed, banana. Rather. Goes for the monkey flip again. Tries to get that down tilt. Pretty pushing him off him with that forward air. Good punish. Able to DI though. Booty is staying alive. If he takes this stock right now. Oh. Uh, if he takes this stock, he still has a chance to at least win this game too. But winning this stock might prove to be difficult. Oh my god, these barrels. Are you kidding me? I That was the very dull thing to do. I have no words. Dill is going to move on to fight off against Purdom in winner's finals. Diddy Kong fighting off against me, Gunner. Me of funner. all things. Meanwhile, down in the loser's bracket, what do we got going on? Uh, 